Hi there, welcome to Curriculum Night. I'm Melissa Gaffney. I am your student's uh, social studies teacher. So um, welcome, I'm super excited to get started. So uh, just a little bit about me. Um, I'm Melissa Gaffney, as I already said, nice to meet you. Uh, this is my 12th year here at Islander, and I have been teaching sixth grade language arts, social studies, and creative writing, uh, mostly that whole entire time. Uh, so this is, you know, uh, very familiar for me. Uh, I graduated from the University of Oregon with my degree in political science and history, go Ducks. And I graduated with my master's in teaching from Seattle University, go Red Hawks, like to keep it in the bird family. Um, and these are my two very busy, very active children. I have a 13 year old daughter and a 12 year, or excuse me, a 10 year old son. I'm not going to age him before I have to. Um, and then one dog. Uh, so we are very busy on the weekends with sports and all the activities that go with these fun ages. So in social studies this year at Islander, and actually in all of Washington State for the most part, sixth grade is a focused uh, year on ancient civilizations. Uh, here at Islander, we've actually taken a different approach this year, and instead of teaching it civilization by civilization in silos, we are taking a thematic approach and really um, allowing students to make connections between civilizations as we're teaching them instead of having them kind of do it after the fact. So we are going to have units focused on things like how people adapted to their environment in Mesopotamia versus Greece, um, how political structures arose in Egypt versus Rome, um, how societies were structured, uh, religion and culture, how they developed in those different places. Um, and it will allow us not only to make those connections, but include more civilizations than we're typically able to cover. So I'm really excited this year to teach a little bit more about the ancient civilizations in the Americas. Um, so it should be a great year. I'm excited about how we approach social studies. The other thing that I will do besides teaching things that happened thousands of years ago, um, we'll be talking about things that are happening right now. So, um, and this is really to kind of not only keep students engaged in what's happening around them, but having them also make those connections. How are things today kind of set in uh, how things were thousands of years ago? How, how have we changed? How are things the same? And it's also going to help us with kind of critical thinking skills, um, writing skills. I'll do a lot of summarizing. Um, so I'll be using CNN 10, which is a adapted program for middle and high school students um, from CNN to help them kind of digest the, the world around them. And then I like to close with how you can help at home. Um, executive functioning is a huge piece of sixth grade, helping kids stay organized and making sure they know how to manage six different teachers, um, how to manage various due dates. Um, so making sure they are ready to go. Um, encourage reading for fun. This is social studies, not language arts, but I believe every teacher is a teacher of reading and I wanna make sure that kids will, um, leave my room with some curiosity and wanting to read more and learn more about the world around them. So anytime you can encourage following that curiosity and reading for fun, please do. Um, talk about social studies in the modern world. How does it relate to things that happened thousands of years ago? Um, can you see the connections? Any Anytime that you can kind of bridge those gaps at home with what's happening in the world or why things are the way they are. Um, talking about, you know, the foundation of democracy in ancient Greece, things like that. It's a, it's fun to bring that in. And then just being their biggest cheerleader. Um, middle school can be very challenging. So it's always nice to have at home a, a soft place to land. So, um, and that is going to do it for me. Thank you so much for attending curriculum night and um, hope you have a good rest of your evening.